so it's been about two weeks since we last spoke about my apartment and I'm back. The series is continuing and the fun part finally is beginning. I am getting ready to move into my apartment. I am packing up my entire apartment I'm in right now and doing all the things to get ready to move. So if you missed my most recent episode, episode six, where I find my studio apartment and I sign my lease and all of that, you should probably go check that out. I'll link it above. And if you're totally new here, welcome. My name's Alexis. I am 24. I live in Uptown Manhattan currently, and I'm moving down to the Upper West Side. So still Uptown Manhattan to a lot of people if you live below there, but downtown to me. I am moving from a four bedroom to a studio apartment. I currently live with three roommates, so obviously I'm going to be living alone. So if you're totally new, go check out my entire Moving in NYC series to catch up on what's been happening. Today, we are starting to get ready to move. I currently am in this apartment and there's still stuff everywhere and I'm getting a little stressed. I've hired movers, they're coming the day after I get my keys. So I'm going to have an entire day in the apartment to like clean, make sure everything's all good. And then the next day the movers will bring all of my stuff. So I'm gonna have them bring all my furniture and I'm going to pack up all my stuff myself in boxes and they're going to take those. So I have to like go get boxes and do all the stuff to get ready to pack. I don't move for like two and a half more weeks. So I have plenty of time to get my life together. But I think today what we're going to do is, as you can see, I have my walls painted like gray in this really, really, really light gray that looks white next to the dark gray. We're kind of confused if we have to repaint before we move out. Our original walls were kind of this ugly yellow color. If you've watched my channel from the beginning, you remember those walls. That was my like original walls in my room. I just want to paint the dark gray, this white light gray color because I don't know if the dark gray can stay. I don't know if we have to paint our walls back to that like light yellow white color they have. So I'm assuming if I just paint them white, I'm good to go. When we moved into this apartment, they freshly painted for us anyway. So I think that's something they do, but I'm gonna paint my walls just to be safe. I'm going to head down to a hardware store in a few minutes and see if they have any boxes. I could go to Home Depot, but the closest Home Depot is over in the Bronx and usually I just walk there because you can't really take a subway there and it's like 30 degrees outside and the wind is 15 miles per hour, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go to some local hardware stores and see if they have cheap boxes. I'll show you my Pinterest. I have like inspo boards for the apartment and what color scheme I'm thinking of. We're gonna talk about all things planning and getting ready to move today. I am going to leave because the sirens won't stop going off and it's really bothering me and I need to catch the bus to go downtown and get boxes. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. So as usual, my plans for the entire day have changed, as, as usual. So I went a little bit downtown, got coffee, went to Jonah's apartment with him, and then I went to look for boxes. There was like a little hardware store near him. So we went there and the boxes were pretty expensive. It was like between two and $5 per box, but I know at Home Depot, it's like way cheaper. So I think I'm going to plan a Home Depot trip. So no boxes. Then I just got back and we were about to start painting. And then our super came and he came and looked at the rooms that we've painted, this one and our living room. And I cannot paint it back to this white color. He said that it needs to be Benjamin Moore Navajo white. That is the <laughs> color of the apartment. It has to be that color. So we can either go buy it ourselves and paint it ourselves or we can pay him $250 to paint it back. So I need to talk with my roommates and see what we wanna do. I'm looking up the paint. I feel like it might be a better deal for him to just paint it because by the time we buy the paint and everything, it might end up being around that much money. So yeah, so I guess we're not painting in this video anymore. And I guess I don't have any boxes to pack because I didn't get any boxes. So I'm gonna eat a snack and then we're gonna go through my plans for my apartment. This video is kind of becoming a little chaotic. Oh, and the last thing that happened today, I texted my real estate agent and I asked if I could see the apartment and he was gonna let me see it today, but he couldn't go. And then he had to give me the key and it was just like a whole thing. So he's looking at it today. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go see it. The biggest stressor I had about all these renovations was the closet because they said they would build me a closet and that was the only thing I like requested. Everything else was already going to be done and they were like, yeah, we can do that. But I really didn't buy that they were actually doing it, but they did. He said that they built it, he looked, it's there. So let's talk apartment plans. 
Honestly, this is what I'm gonna miss most about this apartment. This sunset right now is beautiful. That is literally so pretty. And then like we have the bridge over here. Oh, I'm gonna miss that like actually a lot. I know that this video has not really gone the way the way I thought it would. <laughs> um, I really thought I would be painting in this video and I thought that I would be maybe boxing some things up, but that's okay. Anyways, I want to show you guys my Pinterest board for this apartment so you can get the vibes of what we are going for. Right now, my room is very like, eh. I'm not in love with my room right now. It's like gray, white, and yellow. I am a terrible interior designer, so I need to like really make a Pinterest board and pull inspiration because I don't want my room to look like this one. I think I want to go more with like oranges and greens and like softer colors, and I want my apartment to be full of more color instead of being just like gray and white and geometric shapes. I'm kind of sick of it. It kind of feels like cold to me. So I want this apartment to be like super clean, but like cozy. So that's what we're going for. So maybe I'll share my Pinterest board and show you what we're going for. This is my like inspiration board for my studio. I keep adding things every day, but this is kind of what I'm feeling for the apartment. This is my color palette, like I said before, like the oranges, a little bit of the yellow, since I do have some yellow things here, maybe I can keep those. I love the greens and like the beiges. I love the use of plants. I've never really been a plant person. I literally have like two succulents and like a sunflower in my room, fake, obviously. I like would not be able to take care of a live plant, but maybe I'll get a few like bigger plants, probably fake. I don't know if I can take care of that. But I really like the woods and the whites. I have a lot of gray in here right now. I'm trying to ditch the grays. No more grays. I do have this gray chair that you can't even see because I have a mountain of clothes on there. That's kind of embarrassing. But I have this dark gray chair that I'm going to take with me, but that's probably going to be the only gray I have. And then my bed frame, like my headboard is gray. Like when I have pillows up, you can't even see it, so it doesn't matter. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm like playing around with what I actually want in the space. I definitely am getting a couch that I'm going to put in the middle facing the fireplace because I have a nice fireplace. I'm gonna mount the TV above the fireplace and then put my bed in the back corner behind the couch. I'm definitely going to get a bar cart, but instead of alcohol, it is going to be all coffee because I literally have an espresso machine, a coffee pot, a big coffee grinder. Like I, I love coffee and I have a ton of like supplies <laughs> to make my coffee and I have kind of a small kitchen. So my counter space is going to be limited. So I feel like it'll just be cute to have like a little bar cart in my studio space where I can make my coffee. I can have like syrups and mugs out there. I think that'll be a great use of my space. I currently have a big kitchen table. It's like this big white table with four chairs and it's worked great for this apartment. We like just split up everything that we were buying for this apartment so we didn't have to like pay each other back. It was just kind of like, oh, I'll get the table. You'll get the couch, like that kind of thing. So the table is mine, but it's so big and I'm just one person. So I think I'm going to sell that table and I'm going to get like a skinny bar height table, like just like a rectangle table that I'm gonna put behind my couch because I have two bar stools that I have in our kitchen. And I think that will be like my kitchen table. Well, not kitchen table in air quotes, it actually is a kitchen table. And I think that'll use the space way better because that table is very big. So I have a lot of furniture that I'm not taking with me and I'm going to have to like put up for sale. Now, I also have a whole Excel sheet of everything I need for my apartment. I started going through all of the items I need for my apartment and I really started getting stressed because I was like, oh wow, I need to buy a lot of things because you don't really think about it that much. Like you're like, all right, I'm gonna live alone and I'm gonna move out. but going from living with three other people where we all brought things to an apartment to just myself, it's expensive. It, it really is because you're not only paying for a full rent by yourself every month, you also have to furnish this entire apartment all by yourself. And uh, that didn't really hit me until the other day. I made this list for each like room or aspect of the apartment, what I need. So I have my bedroom and then I have, if I have it, if I don't have it. And then if I see anything I like on the internet that I wanna buy, I have a little link for it. And I do the same thing with like every part. So I have the living room, I have the bathroom, I have my office, I have the kitchen. This is a lot of stuff, <laughs> like so much stuff in the kitchen. Home and cleaning. I think pretty much everything on this list is necessary, but it's not like I need it all at once. I feel like I'm gonna move in and I'm going to want to buy everything like right that second. I'm gonna be like, okay, I need this. I need a vegetable peeler. Give me the vegetable peeler right now. But I know that I can take my time and like, 
figure out what I want, get the best prices. I think I'm going to need to take a step back once I move in and be like, okay, what do I really need right now? Because there's a lot of big things I'm buying. Like I need a new desk, I'm buying a couch, I'm buying a TV, so much stuff. So anyways, now that you've just heard about how much money I'm spending on everything, tomorrow we are seeing my apartment. I haven't seen it since it's been renovated at all. I'm really nervous because <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna walk in and it's not going to look like what I thought it was, but I'm hoping, I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I think it, I don't know, I'm stressed. I'll talk to you tomorrow when we go see this apartment. Okay, good morning, I'm outside and I'm walking to my orthodontist appointment. Um, because I have that this morning, I probably didn't mention that, and then I'm gonna go see my apartment after, so. I took the bus this morning, um, the Omni machine was broken, so I got to ride the bus for free, so it's gonna be a good day, because um, I didn't have my metro card, so. All right, well, see you at the apartment. Okay, I'm back. I went and saw the apartment. It still has a lot of work to be done. I'm very happy with how it looks. I love the closet. So when I was about to sign the lease, I asked if they could put a closet in. They said yes, it would go next to the fireplace. I had pictured that they were going to put it like on the wall with the fireplace with the door, but they put it on the side wall next to the fireplace. You'll see in the video. And it's double doors that kind of like slide out. And that is so much smarter than what I thought they were going to do. And I guess that's why they're designing this apartment and not me. And the kitchen, they have all the flooring in, the new cabinets and the new counters, but we're still waiting on the new appliances. The bathroom, I didn't even record because they kind of fixed some stuff, but it's still a little messy in there. They still need to put new windows in and sand the floors and paint. The only thing that I'm just now realizing is they put a new door in and the inside of the front door is blue but they also have blue painted around the fireplace. I assume they were just going to paint over that and it was going to be white, but the two things match, like the inside of the door and the fireplace. So now I'm nervous that that's going to stay blue, which I guess is kind of cool, but it doesn't go with my color scheme. If you're still watching, thanks for watching this episode. I can't wait to move in. I can't wait to get packing and start getting things together for this apartment. So join me in the next part. Thanks for watching this episode. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.